Hey, what's up, folks? So today we went over operant conditioning uh, to make sure that we understand um, this. Now, I'm going to do it differently in class. We created it. We critically thought through it. But basically, we took a cat, OK? We put that cat in a box. Here's my box. And said, OK, if I take cat and put cat whoops, uh, into the box, and I create a methodology inside where I have maybe a door and a lever. And if the cat pulls the lever, the lever opens the door through a pulley up here. And the door opens, cat can escape. How do I teach this cat to grab the lever, the lever and escape from the box? And that is a question that um, was answered by a guy, Edward Thorndike. Um, yeah, we'll leave that there. OK, so I put the cat inside the box. Uh, Edward Thorndike created a methodology for this. Uh, and so what they did is they took my little thing down here and said, I'm going to put food outside of the box. Okay, cat wants food. And so that's going to reinforce the behavior of escaping. And because the cat naturally wants this, we call that a primary reinforcer. So a primary enforcer is something you naturally would desire. So I take cat, put cat in box. Okay, cat mills around, wanders, 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 strolls. Eventually, uh, Bumps lever, maybe gets interested in the spring, hits it, opens up, might take forever, uh, 600 seconds, you know, 10 minutes, whatever. Uh, and all of a sudden the cat escapes, okay? Gets food. Well, now if I put the cat back in the box, maybe the cat has more of a desire to go over and do the behavior I've taught it because I've offered it a primary reinforcer and also what we'd call a positive reinforcer, meaning I'm adding something that the cat likes. So that's a positive reinforcer as well. Okay, so it's positive. It's something the cat likes. Uh, some of your classmates discussed another way to get the cat to want out of the box. And they said, what if we take the box and we start to fill it up with water, forcing the cat towards the lever and forcing the, the cat to want to escape. Cat does not like water, wants to escape from the water. Cat wants out. That would mean when the cat got out, it got away from something it didn't like. Okay, we would call that a negative reinforcer. I'm taking away a thing that you do not like. So a negative reinforcer would be that I take the thing that makes you sad and you get away from it when you do the behavior that I want. There's an annoying sound playing when you get the right answer in class, the sound stops. That's reinforcing the behavior I want and it's negative. Okay, so think of it like in math class, addition or sub subtraction. The positive reinforcer is something that's being added to reinforce your behavior and make you feel better. The subtraction is the negative. We're taking away something you don't like in order to reinforce your behavior. So both of these are reinforcing your behavior and both of them are making your situation better, whether it's by taking away a bad thing or adding a good thing. That is not to be confused with punishment. Punishment is different. And punishment probably can't teach a behavior. I can't punish the cat out of the box. I could punish the cat into not getting out of the box when it sees me. If every time the cat's in the box and wants to get out, I slap it across the face. I'm punishing the cat, but I'm not going to be able to teach a new behavior. So this is called operant conditioning. Very different from the classical conditioning we saw two days ago and into yesterday with Pavlov's dogs or baby Albert, where we were attaching a stimulus to another stimulus to elicit the same response. So this is different. So we have operant and then we have classical conditioning. Uh, there's a video on those two things on the behaviorist uh, section of our, our class content. If you go down to introduction to psych, origins of actual psych, click on the behaviorists. Uh, underneath yesterday's video on Watson and uh, Rayner's experiment with little Albert, I have a video on classical versus operant conditioning, if that helps. So this is operant conditioning, uh, and the other was classical. Hope that makes sense. That's a really quick version of what we did in class, but I like to try and keep these summaries under five minutes. Okay, so we'll train the cat to get out of the box. The other thing we did was we graphed it. And the general agreement was that time would slowly decrease, but at some point we might have an increase where the cat's not hungry. And we might see if this is time to escape, this is number of trials. If this is the 40th or 50th time I put the cat in the box, over here is the first time. Over time it's gonna get quicker that the cat escapes. But sometimes the cat might not want that primary reinforcer. Maybe it's not hungry, doesn't want the food. So we have to keep that in mind as well, all right? Hey, thank you, uh, and we'll get with you tomorrow.